I'm going to teach you something terrible. If you don't want to learn something terrible, you should swipe. Get that pinky up here. I want you to pinky swear that you actually want to do this. The pinky is now binding you. Remember that. This phenomenon is known as fetus papyracious. The root of that second word being papyrus, as in flat as papyrus. This is a perfect example of biology giving exactly zero Fs about feelings. I know I'm going to hell, but all I can think of is flat pat from the garbage pail kids. If you're disgusted and now headed to the comments, know that you would never survive an anatomy class. If you're unfazed or you laughed, you have some trauma in your background. So what happens here is one of the fetuses gets some advantage. It might be as simple as their placenta being slightly larger or maybe just interfacing with the mother's blood supply better. Once they have that head start, it's simply a matter of time until they're large enough to where they just pancake their brother or sister or their other self in the case of identical twins. And because if I don't say it, somebody always asks, uh, this right here is fatal. I also fully believe that this kind of stuff is why people believed in curses and demons and all kinds of mystical stuff. Because imagine giving birth to a full-size human and then it's followed up by the pressed fairy version of one.